the merger between the PGA Tour, DP World Tour, and LID Golf would create a new for-profit entity that would unify their commercial businesses and rights. This means that the new entity would control the media rights, sponsorship deals, digital platforms, and global events of the three tours. It would also have the power to negotiate with other golf organizations, such as the Majors, the Ryder Cup, and the Olympics. The benefits of this merger are clear. It would create a more streamlined and efficient structure for the professional golf industry. It would also generate more revenue and exposure for the sport, especially in emerging markets like Asia and Africa. The new entity would be able to offer more attractive prize money and incentives for the players, as well as more opportunities for fans to engage with their favorite golfers. However, there are also some challenges and risks involved in this merger. For one thing, it would require a lot of coordination and cooperation among the different stakeholders, such as the players, the tournaments, the sponsors, and the regulators. There could be conflicts of interest or disagreements over how to distribute the profits and resources. For another thing, it could create a monopoly or a cartel that would dominate the golf landscape and stifle competition and innovation. There could be legal or ethical issues over how to protect the integrity and diversity of the sport. Therefore, the merger between the PGA Tour, DP World Tour, and LID Golf is a bold and ambitious move that could have a significant impact on the future of golf. It could create a new era of growth and prosperity for the sport, but it could also pose some serious challenges and threats. The success or failure of this merger will depend on how well the new entity can balance its interests and responsibilities with those of its partners and rivals. One of the most controversial aspects of the PGA Tour LID Golf merger is the involvement of Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund PIF, which has been criticized for its human rights record and its role in other sports. The PIF is a sovereign wealth fund that manages over $400 billion in assets and has been investing heavily in sports and entertainment as part of its Vision 2030 plan to diversify the economy and improve the country's image. However, the PIF has also been accused of being behind the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018, as well as supporting authoritarian regimes and violating human rights in Yemen, Bahrain and elsewhere. The PIF's involvement in sports has also raised ethical concerns among some fans, players and organizations. For example, the PIF attempted to buy Newcastle United FC last year, but faced opposition from the Premier League and human rights groups. The PIF also owns a stake in WWE, which has been criticized for holding events in Saudi Arabia despite the country's repression of women, LGBTQ plus people, and dissidents. The PIF's investment in the PGA Tour LID golf merger has also drawn scrutiny from some lawmakers and activists who have questioned whether the deal would compromise the integrity and values of golf. In a letter to the Justice Department, Democratic Sins, 